Hey guys, Michelle here from Cushel Creations. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. Um, so today I have a collective haul from a variety of things and actually a few holidays. <laughs> so I'm going to dive right in. Um, I had ordered something from Simon Says Stamps and um, they had given me, and this was probably in August, a coupon code that if I had spent uh, returned, I could get a free gift. I don't think there was a requirement of value, but I could be wrong. Um, so I had gone through some of their um, discounted items and I was able to find some more of these um, tombstones from last year's Halloween. Obviously this year's Halloween is a slight difference to them, but I think I got them for like $2. So it was a really good steal. So then, um, this item, which also was from last year, I believe, um, is the black two-tone wood grain cardstock. I want to say they're cardstock. Yeah, they're cardstock. So I have one of these in my stash, but when I saw it was discounted, and from what I've heard, they're not returning, um, I went ahead and bought another pack. And I'm so glad I did because I can play more with them. Um, and then they had these alcohol Dura sheets on sale as well. And I snagged one because I do have one and I haven't played with them yet. But when I do, I want to make sure I have more. And this was a 10 piece. But my main objective was these beauties. I don't have this yet. And when I saw that I can get a freebie, which I'm going to show you next, um, I added this beauty into my cart. I do have the die set that was released this year for Halloween and so I was like why not invest in these because I know these are for stenciling and masking um, but yeah so I can't wait to play with these to see what I come up with and then the freebie that um, I received was this cute little kit and again, it was just a free gift from them for placing an order after my first order <laughs> I placed um, to get this code. And it's one of these, uh... oh, it was wrapped. It looks like it's one of these, um, I want to say exclusive, but it might not be handmade, handcrafted with love. And they're cute little sentiments. I especially like the little... Um, paint little what is it called it's like a paint tray so i thought that was so much fun the sentiments say from heart from my heart to your hands made with love just for you i hope this brings you a smile and then handcrafted by and then you would obviously put your name and then they gave two ink colors one is salt water taffy and one is prize resin so that was kind of fun so that was the order that I placed with Simon Says Stamps. Um, the next couple locations were actually local. So that was the only online option, and I'm losing all my stencils, <laughs> option that I went to. The only thing I picked up from Home Goods was they had this DIY bead kit, and I just fell in love with the color concepts and obviously these cool alphabet um Uh, beads and they already put together a spooky bracelet which I thought was so so cute and they had a little happy face so I got this again at home goods you can see it was $6.99 they did have a variety of different colors um, and even the cane con container that it was stored in there was one with a pumpkin shape one with a skull um, and then I think one was just a regular square so if you're out there and you see them and it interests you letting you know where I found them I did find some extra <laughs> I did find some um, clearance items that I forgot to put in my last clearance items haul and as you can see they're patches but I seem to acquire them I haven't yet figured out where to place them uh, but one day I will but they just called to me and then this is a fine point um, outliner contour pen and it says it works best with light and white copy paper but I thought it was so cool I don't have anything like this in my craft room so I snagged that up for $2.49 so that was the only thing I found lingering <laughs> when I was getting ready to do this haul video 
Um, the next thing I want to show you are some Halloween stuff that I picked up from Target. They have in their dollar spot, they had this cute little, um, I guess, shaker bit uh, of pumpkins. And I know last year they had the bats and the goblins and stuff like that. And I still have those, still haven't made with them yet, which I plan to eventually, right? We acquire things to use for later projects than just passing them up for, oh, I wish I had gotten that kind of situation. So I can't wait to play with those. They did have this cute, obviously not craft related, but this cute hanging neon boo sign. And I got to figure out where to put that in my craft room. But I already decorated for my house for Halloween and I cannot wait to enjoy this beauty as well. Then they had these light up necklaces. They did have a different option, but I snagged up the ghost one. I plan on going to HHN this year, which is Halloween Horror Nights in Orlando, and I can't wait to um, have fun with this while I'm at the park. And then they had these cute little jelly bags. One is a cat. Look how cute that is. And one had a bat. There was a third option, but I only have two nieces, and even though these are those booed um you know you've been booed type of bags where you put at someone's doorstep i'm really going to use them to just put a bunch of stuff in there for my nieces and give it to them for halloween so they can have some fun but i just wanted to share that with you i wish they had this stuff when i was a kid because it's so cute um so anyways i wanted to share that with you guys and that was all at target then i shifted gears to christmas i know i know i know but it's out and when you're ready to use it, it's gone. So you got to get it while it's there. Now, when I did do this shopping, um, it was already marked at 50% off. So some of the things I did find that I don't know if they had last year, but I did not see it if they did, were these cute little um, penguin charms. They're so stinking cute. And when I saw that they had these beads of all these little penguins, I'm like, what a cute charm set or dangle would that be? and my daughter's boyfriend loves penguins so i might make her a bracelet and maybe put his name in it or something i just thought it was so cute so i picked those up and again they were 50 percent off when i bought them so you can see the retail price and then the 50 percent is taken out the register they also had these adorable little charms um what they have already the little shaker stuff inside um they're just adorable and I couldn't resist them. I only got one. If I see them again, I might get another one because they're just so cute. It would be cool if they had other colors, but obviously it's geared toward Christmas and we know Hobby Lobby doesn't do Halloween. Then I also found these assortment of stars and alphabets, which I totally love because again, you can use these on any time of year. It doesn't have to be specifically for the holiday season. So I will be putting that in my stash then they had this thing new this year um i want to say they're shaker bits uh i'm not sure if that was the intention of them when they produced the product but they're so cute for some weird reason they're orange i would think they would be a red but i'm gonna go with it and i'm gonna use it for halloween <laughs> so um again this was 50 percent off when you took it at the register and then these adorable gingerbread people how freaking cute and they have a gingerbread house to go with it. Now, obviously you can make these as earrings, uh, bracelets, charms, whatever your your um, need is for them. I don't know yet what I'm gonna use them for. My head first went to a dangle for a Christmas album, but we'll see what conspires from it. But they were so stinking cute. And you know, you have to go to multiple stores if you are able to, because my location didn't have these. I actually was in a different city altogether a two hour drive from where I currently am, but I was on vacation there. And I happened to see a Hobby Lobby, of course. And so when I went inside, this location was massive and they had them and they were so adorable. So definitely check them out. They did have these wood bead gift tags. I am really not sure what I'm gonna do with them yet. I feel like it would be cute to maybe use the Tim Holtz rub-ons from last year or maybe you know any rub-ons really and kind of like dress them up maybe add them as a tag not to put someone's name on it only so they can reuse it if they wanted to but i thought this was so 
cool. And again, 50% off of $3. I mean, sometimes things are cheaper at regular stores than the dollar store sometimes. And even though it's $1.50, it's still, to me... Now, this is not a Christmas item. This was in the beat aisle. It was not on clearance. Regular price was $4.99. I thought that was a great deal for this amount of beads. I don't have these colors in my stash. So I did pick these up, obviously, but... I wish they had other colors. I feel like this is like an older, um, yeah, 2022. Sometimes when they bring in new products that's current, that's when the prices go up. So when you do find stuff, sometimes dig down below or behind the product because sometimes you'll find something that's cheaper. They're not going to change the price. I've discovered that. I once went to Hobby Lobby in the knob aisle and I picked up two knobs not paying attention one was $4.99 one was $6.99 and I'm like wait what and they're like yeah we have to charge you the price that's on the tag they don't have barcodes so I had to go back there and see if I could find another one that was $4.99 because I thought that was ridiculous and they don't budge like for nothing at all no lie so <laughs> from my experience I just want to just share with you that sometimes you'll find things that it's the exact same product They'll have different prices. Definitely look to see which one is a better one and go with it. Even if it's on sale, they will take the discounted price off of the ticketed item. Really weird. But anyways. Um, so this beauty here, I did pick up because my mind was going to a concept of maybe doing an advent calendar for Halloween. And so you may think, well, Michelle, there's only 25 boxes and there's 31 days in October. How is that going to be possible? So I'm hoping and praying that I am able to work on this project now in September. Hopefully this is going on my YouTube channel in September. So that way, come October 1st, I've already done the work, put it on my website so you guys can do one too if you're interested in it. But we're basically going to be building another layer for another five which will get us to 30 and then one additional layer to make the 31 and so really we're going to be counting up instead of counting down because that's the only way that it would work um so yeah so we would be going one and then going like that as a snake until we got to 31 which will be at the top I'm really, really hoping that I'm going to commit to it because in my head, I see the vision and I really want to execute it. So stay tuned for that because I don't want to disappoint you guys. And therefore, that is actually going to wrap up this little haul video. I really hope that you're able to find some of the things out there that you're looking for. Obviously, the things I've acquired may not be of interest to you and that's okay, but maybe it might spark something that you have in your craft room already or that you see out there that I discussed. If for any reason any of the products I showed you, you are curious about or want to know more information by all means let me know. I will try to help you as best as possible. Again, I ordered from Simon Says Stamps. I picked up the bead from, Hobby, from Home Goods and then went to Target and then I went to Hobby Lobby. <laughs> so it's a mashup of the different um, locations. But uh, yeah, so anyways, thank you guys. So much for taking the time out of your day to take um not to take but to watch the video and i will catch you on the next one you guys have a fantastic day take care